All right, everyone, here we go with the November 2022 thank you reading. I do one of these every month in case you're new here. It's to thank anybody who's ever given me a nickel for anything I do around here. Even if you chucked a roll of nickels at my house and I had to pick them up from the yard, that's fine. Uh, donations, vi uh, video on demand, you know, the extended readings, whatever. Doesn't matter. And subscribers, too. Subscribers help out with the search results and things like that. That's always nice. That said, I ask the universe the same thing I always ask it in these thank you readings. What do you want to tell the viewers? All right? I leave it wide open. I love it. Because I come in here, I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, I can tell you this particular energy that's coming in makes my job difficult. And I will tell you why. And I'm going to have to explain something to you first. That said, first I have to say this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Well, you're probably here for a reason anyway. It's a thank you reading. You said, hey, that's me. I did that. So here, here you are. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Well, uh, my pre-shuffle, just on the surface energy, and I don't know if I'm pulling three cards or four yet. I have no idea what, what, what reading I'm pulling. I might even pull a pyramid. I don't know. But I do know this energy, and I know it well. Okay? <laughs> I know it very well. And my job is difficult. I got a knight of swords right here on the surface. All right? And I got this song, Won't Go Away From My Head. And, and I know that this energy, this is, sometimes my job here, I uh, confirm something for you, right? On one side of the coin. On the other side of the coin, I tell you something that you don't know sometimes. This is one of those something you don't know. I can tell you right now that for most of you watching, this is future influence. And I, I'm not going to say that again. I say that so you don't shut off the video two minutes in and go, oh, he crazy, that's not me, right? Or I say this so that you don't, you know, you don't start thinking about people all around you or whatever, okay? Could be future influence. I think for a lot of you it is. That's all I'm going to say. What song is ringing in my head? I don't know. I've only heard it once in my life, I think. And I, uh, I get the number nine. I get a burning rubber and I get, ooh, I got a crush on you. That's what I get. So it's some song that has something to do with the number nine and burning rubber and the chorus probably is something along the lines of, ooh, I got a crush on you. That just keeps ringing my, I'm not going to get rid of it for days. I mean, it's so strong. Okay. That said, ooh, I got a crush on you. Well, I have a crush on you. Everybody knows that. Especially if you're a redhead watching me, I got it. That's an instant crush right there. But somebody here, you got an incoming message, and it's it's on crack. It's the Queen of Swords crossing the Knight of Swords, right? Um, from someone who I don't think they're around you yet, okay? But but with this Two of Pentacles, if they are. There's somebody who's been very nervous with, with the Seven of Wands holding back, kind of defensive, crossing the Two of Pentacles. All right, there's someone who, and I'll explain it in a second. First, I have to show you the Fool. And underneath that is the Eight of Swords. Okay, now the Eight of Swords energy goes with the Fool energy, and they're both bookending the Knight of Swords, who always has a specific message. In this case, that message... I promise you, has nothing to do with the number nine and nothing to do with burning rubber. That has to do with, this, with whatever the fuck song this is. The other one has, the, the message here that they're worried about is, ooh, I got a crush on you. Okay, this is, and I've been telling you DFs, because most of my viewers are DFs like energy, attracts like energy, um, and you're the non-runners, so that just makes sense. I've been telling you guys, you got attracting energy around you. We saw it earlier in the Mars retrograde extended. When I pulled on the DF, I damn near fell off my chair. I mean, it was unreal. That said, um, this, this is likely future influence. Somebody's going to say something to you. Now, who this is, who this might be, it could be anything. I want you to open your mind a little bit and, and have some empathy for what I do here, which is sort through a mountain of energy to try to get a specific message out of it. This could be someone you work with. This could be someone who you see every day at the store. This could just be someone who's, who's a, who says they're a friend, but they want more than that, but they're afraid to tell you that they want more than that. It could be 
someone's spouse, a friend's spouse that actually is into you that might approach. That would be this energy. The same frequency of energy plays out differently in different situations. It can also be someone who is just reading your social media and, and they like you. They like what you say or they like the pictures you put up. You wouldn't know they were there. They don't necessarily have to be a follower, although if your account's private, they do. But if your account is open, like take take the Steve Love Tarot Twitter, for example, right? I got what, like 6,000 followers on there or some shit like that? Uh, but the stats show that like 30 or 40,000 people read it. You don't, have to, you don't have to follow to read it. I get people all the time, I just created this account just to come in so I could say something. I've been reading you a while, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes they say good things, sometimes they say bad things. I, it, it doesn't matter. My point is there's more people reading it than there are following it. So it could just be somebody like that on your account. It could be any of that. But somebody here with this damn fucking song that I can't get rid of got a crush on you. Oh man. Big time. They got it bad. So and, and again, before you shut off the video and go, this guy, Mom, this guy's Steve. He's fucking crazy. No, I, I am. But first of all, I'll say that. But this could be future influence. There's no time in the energy. I do feel like because I tried to pinpoint it when I asked the universe what it wants to tell you, right? I don't want it telling you things that might happen 10 years from now. I'm, I'm pretty much focused on the month. This is November 2022. Thank you, Reed. So again, it could be any time between now, November 1st here, and uh, the middle of December or Christmas time or whatever. I mean, any of that could fall in there. I'm not a time lord and I'm not the warlock on the hill. It's always tough when I'm telling people things they don't know. Okay? But one thing I have been telling you and the universe has been telling you, and I'll tell you as I shuffle, and a card just flew out, I'll get it in a little bit. I'll pick it up. But I'm going to keep shuffling because that's what my intuition says to do. You have incredible attracting energy around you. All of you. It's not just Virgo who always gets that. It's all of you, right? You, whether you take advantage of that energy or not, like I've been telling you, it's there, right? You can go to a river. If you don't want to go tubing, fine. Sit on the beach, but the river is still there, all right? And energy readers call the energy around us the river, you know? It's just, you know, that's how we refer to it. That said... I'm giving the deck a final shuffle here. Uh huh, uh huh. I want some information. I'm going to pull a pyramid. Okay? I'm going to pull a pyramid. Oh, God. All right, fine. I got to give it a couple more shuffles. Hold. Okay, there we go. Everybody happy now? Fine. It's, it's a page of cups. All right, this person might feel you might be above this person. I got to pick up this card that fell on the floor. This is how it fell, this is how I picked it up. Right? We'll turn it together because I always turn my cards that way so you turn the card the same way. This card that fell on the floor is going to go with this. All right? And probably the card under it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the card. In this type of energy, this is the card where spanking's not enough. Right? You know, it's getting, it's getting a little rough. This is not your runner. Okay, this is another energy. This is something else. Um, it's It's... Somebody, I always say, sometimes I joke about this card. I say the black cat and the white cat are about to go have a cup of coffee. It's like that. I think that's why the page is here. I think, yeah, uh, somebody wants to talk to you. The six of wands or, or the six of swords. It is that spanking's not enough energy. Somebody wants to tell you how they feel. Sometimes it's an energy of smoothing things out. They're hoping for the rainbow kind of a thing. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put that there. Wow. 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 Okay. Let's pull a pyramid. Maybe we'll get more information out of this. Right here, the top row is, is their feelings, whoever this is, right? It might give us some association energy too. I'll clarify if I need to. In the middle is what they're thinking when they think about you. That might help us too. And the pinnacle card here, the top of the pyramid at the bottom will, is, will be the, uh, which way the wind is blowing with it. I can't get timing. There's no such thing as that. There really is. And I know you watch readers and they, I'm going to get you some timing and they pull the ten of wands and they tell you it could be ten weeks, ten days, ten months. That is such bullshit. It's unreal. Take it from me. That does not, you can't, it doesn't, there's no time the way we, it's just not there. All right. So anyway, 
I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. But give me uh, three cards across the top about this, this energy's feelings. Oh, wow. I think my video froze. Is my hand stuck in one position? Holy crap. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset the video here and I'll splice them together. Oh, wait, it kicked back in. No, it didn't. Oh, there it did. There, there's my hand. Hold on. Oh. All right. Well, if you were wondering if there was a lot of energy here, there you go. Froze my damn thing. I've been using this computer all day. It's fine. And, you know, hey, a lot of energy here. I'm not kidding. I'm not going to get rid of that crush on you song for fucking days. Crap. Maybe somebody got a crush on me. Hey, that'd be fun. All right. I don't know. Uh, Ace of Wands. Okay. Wow. Uh, you're going <laughs> to... Uh, I, I get a surprise energy on that. I, I We'll find out more here. What, what's the center card? Seven of Cups. Yeah. Uh, working out options here. Um, it's a confusing energy here. The feelings are confused. So this tells me this... God, what what does this tell me? What's bookending the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Mm, some somebody here. It, this 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 reads like obsession. In the feelings, all of this reads like obsession. It's someone who's confused because you're you might be higher up than them or something along those lines. Uh, you're very. I don't want to say they know your value. That's not really the card that's there. Uh, again, this 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 has something to do with pentacles. This has something to do with someone you work with, maybe. You know, I'm not sure. Um, it could be someone you hire to do something. This is really weird, but it might be for a couple of you. You hire, like for example, you hire a plumber to come in and fix something at your house, and you two end up banging in the laundry room, right? I mean, I don't know. It's it feels like it's very sudden. This is all I get is this sudden explosive energy off of this. There's something new. Um, somebody here, how, whoever this person is, their feelings are confused. So what, when I get this, it doesn't mean that they're confused about how they feel. I, I think they know how they feel. It, the feelings are confused because they're supposed to be something else to you and now they want to be this. Okay? Now they want to bang you. Ooh, they got a crush on you. That's why the universe gave me the crush song. I haven't fucking ever heard that. I can't believe. I don't think I've ever heard that song all the way through. And yet, I just did in my head. I don't even know who does it. Uh, it doesn't matter. But that's that alone, it's a crush. Crushes can be confusing, right? It's it's like that. It's, okay, what do they think? We'll, we'll clarify a couple of things in a minute. Three of Wands. Yeah, they want to take a shot. They think they want to take a shot at it, you know? Um, there could be some spying too. This card sometimes has a spying energy attached to it. This is not your runner. This is another energy. Okay? And I know it's a weird reading. But all future influence readings are. I think this is future influence. You might know this person, some of you. If you do, the clue is in the Seven of Cups. The clue is it, it, there's supposed to be something else to you, but they want to be this. Right? They want to bang you. Okay? Ooh, they got a crush on you. And it, it might be weird. It, it could indicate that with the Seven of Cups. It might be weird. But uh, for them, you know, again, they're thinking about doing it. They're thinking about just when they think about it, they think about taking a shot. What else? You know, a lot of anxiety. The Nine of Swords. Um, it's somebody, it, we, we saw that with this little pagey here. Somebody might be a little nervous when they approach. Um... You might be seeing it in your astrology. For those of you that read horoscopes, you might be hearing about, you know, somebody springing something on you or somebody saying something to you or something like that. Again, even with astrology, there's no time in the energy. So, again, it could be future influence you're reading, if you, even if you're reading a daily horoscope. So, keep that in mind if you see that in your horoscopes and things like that. Yeah, uh, somebody here, I, I think it surprises the living shit out of you, but I think their feelings for you are a surprise to them, okay? Because they're supposed to be something else to you. Which is why I say it could be someone who you just think is a friend who wants more or a roommate who wants more. It could be someone of the same sex and you're not into that, right? It could be, you know? 
Maybe, maybe you like dudes and your friend Rhonda all of a sudden decides she likes you. I mean, it could be that. It's that kind of energy. The same frequency of energy plays out differently in different situations. All right. Okay. Um, I say go for Rhonda. You know, I'm just saying go for it. Whatever. Uh, anyway, what's the pinnacle card here? Which way the wind? Again, this is a soulmate. This is... This is someone here who, hmm, I'm going to clarify the emperor. This is, this, is a, this is a divine masculine. This is a masculine energy that is coming towards you. It is a soulmate energy. I already picked up on that. Why? Tell me about the emperor. I'm going to clarify with the witches real quick. There's a lot of energy here. The universe is going out of its way. This emperor is red with the seven of cups. There's supposed to be something different to you. But they want more. They want, you know, the whole package, so to speak. Um, wh why'd you give me the emperor here? I get it. I get it. They take control and they come in. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, it ties back to the thought on the three of wands. It's the three of wands. The emperor ties back to here. Um, it's basically an energy of you look like a sirloin steak to this person. It, they're going batshit crazy thinking about you. Okay? Wh whatever, whoever this is. There's supposed to be something else to you, but they want the full package. All right, a friend, a coworker, uh, a clerk at the store, a plumber you hire, uh, in the right trailer park, a cousin. I mean, I don't know. There's supposed to be a cousin. What the fuck are you? Th you know, I don't know. It could go any way. Um, let's clarify the uh, Seven of Cups since we clarified the Emperor. I only threw a crossing card on the Emperor. I'll get to a full clarification in a moment. I just wanted to know why the universe threw it. Threw me the Emperor. Um, let's see here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to pick and choose what I clarify. I don't need to clarify the Three of Wands. I will clarify this, this King of Pentacles, though, in a moment. But first, it all hinges on this Seven of Cups. All right. And don't discount this energy. I know this energy well. Lots of people in my life have had crushes on me. I know what that energy feels like. Okay, I, Energy readers always have a lot of life experience. We have to in order to interpret what we're feeling. We have to equate it to something. All right? And that's what I offer you here when I pick up on the energies. That's why I homespin things and give you my little stories and this reminds me of blah, 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 right? It kind of a thing. I know what a crush feels like when it's headed my way, all right? And this is what this energy is, and that's why that damn song's in my head. It was ringing in my head before I even hit the record button on this son of a bitch. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why? 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 Oh, 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 oh. it's the Four of Cups. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, they're afraid if you, if, if you reject them, it's going to get weird. That's what this means. If you reject them, it's going to get weird. There's my picture. There's my guy right there who's not banging little blondie. We tell this story all the time with this card. Right, but in this case, the energy coming off of it is he's not banging her because it might get weird. Right? It might get weird. Maybe she's his stepsister. It's not a relative. It's a step relative. Your father married some other person. They had a kid. They all come to like it's like the Brady Bunch, like Peter banging I don't know Cindy or whatever, whatever one of Marcia or whatever. It's like that. It might get weird. That's the energy that comes off it. It's going to be weird if this person reveals their feelings or if you two bang. Uh, okay. Well, what's on top? <laughs> Besides them on you, I guess. Eight swords, and that gives them eight swords. Yeah, they're, they're afraid. Of, it's just fear. They're afraid that it might get weird. Why is the eight swords here? As if we have to ask, we got eight swords and nine swords. The magician, because it changes everything. Okay? Because it changes everything. I'm right. Hey, listen, I use the clarifiers to verify that I got the energy just right. I know what a fucking incoming crush feels like. I know that energy well. All right? I was an okay looking little dude in my 20s. All right, I did well. Lots of crushes coming my way. Every job I ever had, there was some girl I banged at that job. I was very good at it. And I didn't have to do much, so I can't even really say that. That said, 
that's this energy. It gets weird. It's somebody who's supposed to be something else to you, and there's a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety about it, a ton of it, 15 swords, or even more than that, shit, 17 swords worth of it. Uh, we, we can even add in, you know, four cups and a magician to that. We've got a lot of, it might get weird if something happens here, okay? Uh, and it, it'll change everything with the, with the magician. So that backs up my energy that this is somebody who's supposed to be something else to you. Let's pull on the King of Pentacles, all right? Let's, because this is how they feel about you. You're the eight-point fuck with rainbow antlers. I could go off on that, blah, 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 but... It's not really that energy. It's if they leave things alone, everything is stable. If they fuck with things, everything gets a little weird, right? We know that. So this represents an energy of that stability. What is it? Why is it here? I'm telling you, these readings. Whenever you put it to the universe, what do you want to tell the viewers? This doesn't surprise me with the attracting energy you have around you. Alright? I mean it's it's just it's just been coming up that way i did a schrodinger's cat on it just the other day go watch it and you know it's it's there's a lot of good energy around you even in the uh, twin flame journey readings there's a lot of good energy around you tell me about this king of pentacles and why the fuck am i shuffling so much here what the hell what the fuck is this it's the Queen of Cups crossing the King of Pentacles. That is the weirdest motherfucking energy. I said, what the fuck is this before I even put the cards down? What the fuck are you trying to tell me here? Environmental energy. This is my desert queen in the, in the uh, Witch's Tarot. Um, mm, you, again, it's just with the environmental energy around them seeing you as the King of Pentacles, it's just backing up what this energy is. Right? In other words, her cup is empty, and she's the queen of cups. It's supposed to be full of water, and she gives the full cup. But it's my desert queen. Her cup is empty. They're not supposed to. Right? It's like forbidden love. It's like a fucking Lifetime movie or Hallmark Channel or some shit. What's on top here? Three of cups. This person might be married. Okay, maybe that's why it's forbidden. Maybe you're married. I don't know. One of you is married or in another relationship, or this can be like weirdness, right? Why does it change everything if 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 if, if you guys bang and, and they tell you how they feel, you know, because they're not supposed to be this with you, blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe um, they used to go out with, maybe they used to be married to a friend of yours, or you used to be married to a friend. Of it's, it could be anything. You've got to try to run some scenarios around. The same frequency of energy plays out differently in different situations. I'm saying as a down the middle, there's a third energy. In other words, it looks like they might, this isn't always a third party card, but it is here in this context. So there, they could be married. It's forbidden love, like I said, some kind of forbidden thing. But boy, do they got a crush on you. <whistles> Big time. Why is the three of cups here? Yeah, the six of pentacles. They're giving to something else, but they want to bang you. Now, I, I can't go deeper than bang. Just because I say they might be, a, well, I, it's not might, they are. Just because I say they're, they're, you have a soul connection with them doesn't mean it needs to be you guys get married and, and you live happily ever after. You know, most of the people, because you can't read what I can read and pick up on the energies, I can tell you that most of the people that, that you've banged in your lifetime, you've had some kind of soul connection with. Especially if the sex was good. Really good. Like you popped off five, six, seven times. You know, that kind of good. Alright? There's definitely a soul connection there. Um, because people we don't have soul connections with, yes, yeah, sometimes it ends up as bangs in a bar parking lot and stuff like that, but we then later avoid those people. We don't want to run into them somewhere. Right? Um, it's like that. So they're giving to something else, but they also want to give to you. Um, so that's why it's sort of a forbidden thing. Um, I'm going to uh, really, really pull on this emperor, this emperor here now. In lieu of this, because this is red with these, I'm going to pull on this emperor. I know it's a weird reading. It's, it's strange. But it really isn't if you break it down. All I'm really saying is in future influence which is likely sometime between now and the end of the year, right? 
someone you're not supposed to be with, they're supposed to be something else to you, is, is going to let you know that they're into you. And things might get weird if they do. And that's the, also, by contrast, the reason that they, that, that they haven't said anything. Those feelings are already in the energy. All right? For a lot of you, if for a lot of you, you already this person's already around you. For others of you, they aren't, but the feelings are still there. The energy is still there. They just don't have anything to apply it to. So the moment you cross paths, that energy is going to stick to you like glue, and you're going to be the one. That's all. That's how it works. All right, here we go. Emperor, why is it here? Very strange. Very strange. I like strange readings. I like it when the universe throws me a twist. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is crossing that. Again, I back up that this person, I, I reiterate, I should say, that this person might be with somebody else or might have been with somebody else. Either way, um, I think they w either want to break free from that or they're about to. I can't. Yeah, Six of Swords underneath it. They either want to break free from it, from whatever this third energy is, and come your way. It, it it is a crush, but it's it's something that could develop into something. It could. I mean, this is definitely someone who has their shit together financially, at the very least, or you know, along those lines with the Nine of Pentacles here. What's on top? Star. Yeah, there. I don't want to say they're manifesting it. There's a lot of destiny at play here with this. This this star card ties to the Empress energy of the D uh, of the DFs because we get the star a lot in, in the readings when I pull on you and things like that the three card and all of that we get the star quite often. Um, there's just a it's like your it's like the way the Empress has that magnetic draw that I always say very attractive. This is this is destiny doing that. Okay, it's the energy that's around right now that's causing all of this to happen. All right, and especially the energy around you. All right, why is the star here? Death. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm, it's that energy of change again. It's red with the magician. It's red with the magician, which is why they're in eight swords. Everything changes if they tell you how they feel. Everything does change. I think, and, and you cannot quote me on this, you make your own decisions. Am I clear? Okay. But the way the energy reads, and that's how I'm going to phrase it, and that's what I'll tell the fucking judge, so don't you come at me, right? The way the energy reads, make your own decisions. If you bang this person, if they went, if, I'm not even going to say if, when they approach you, because this is some strong fucking energy. All right, and it, it, if you decide to get together with them, even if it does get weird, and you might sense that it's going to get weird if we bang, Peter ain't supposed to be banging Marcia. Okay, it's not you know whatever it is, a coworker or whatever. I'm sure it's not a step sibling, but for joke purposes, we can add that in. Whatever it is, once you do that, if you hook up with this person, we'll say. I think because of that the energy of change and the star here with the nine of pentacles cross, uh, crossing, if they're married, I think they leave that person. I think the opposite happens with this person than what happened with the runner who, for most of you, decided to stay with their person or stay in their situation. I think this person actually leaves them for you. Okay? That's what I think. But you can't. Again, that's just the energy. I can't predict what a 3D person's going to do. So you make your own decisions. I mean, if it's somebody you can bang and you want to bang them, bang away. They got a crush on you. Let me fucking tell you. You're going to be keeping them up at night initially, right? So for a number of you, you haven't met this person yet. Okay? I'm going to say that very clearly. This is, this is IS, future influence for a good number of you. For a smaller number of you, you already know this person. They're around you. However, from the way this energy reads, I think it's someone you will, you are, you're not expecting. And especially because in a lot of the readings I've been pulling lately, we've been getting the Seven of Swords a lot. There's a lot of deception in the energy. I think 
as I say that, if you start trying to figure out who it is, I think it's going to be wrong. I think this is one of those situations because of the it might get weird energy. That's why, you know, there's there's confusion here. If once they because they're supposed to be something else to you. I, I think if you try to apply it to a person, it, it, you might you might include some hope that that is someone. Oh, I, I hope it's that person. Oh, I think it's that person at work or I think it's this. It's one of those cases where you think it's this person and you really and you wouldn't mind it if it was and it turns out it's this person over here and you know, it's weird like you think it's the it's i don't know the, uh, some person at in a high up executive level at your office you know or something along those lines and, and you're, you're you're certain of it oh yeah steve you were right on it's definitely that person and then i think it turns out that it is someone at work but it's the janitor Okay, not the not the executive person, and then you gotta you know then you gotta kind of think well they, they they smell like floor cleaner but they are kind of I mean they look okay kind of a thing like that. I'm just saying the I don't think you're gonna be able to figure out who it is until they, there's a lot of surprise here. I know I don't think you're gonna be able to figure out who this is until they actually make an approach. But it looks like they're going to. Okay, it does. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody gets the strength to do it. Let me um, pull one more thing. Um, what's the energy around this person? Mm. I'm just going to pull on the person. Like, who are they? Right? Hey, it's a thank you reading. I, I'm going to be thorough. I'm always thorough. Anybody who was around for the bangs back, back last year knows I'm always thorough. Right? Nobody ever leaves Steve's Love Tarot needing to finish themselves off. All right, here we go. I'm going to find out who this person is. In other words, I'm going to dig into their soul energy because that's where who we are is. It's a complicated energy. It really is because of the strangeness of it. Whoever this is in this reading, you guys becoming something different, you know, or taking it to the next level, it definitely creates a problem. It creates it's it creates a weirdness energy as I read it. So, and the cards back that up big time. But I do think that they would leave someone for you. I think there's a very strong connection with this person, and I, I think if you guys hook up, you know, you bang, uh, that that connection will will flare up like a, a fucking road flare going off. Who is this person? Who is this emperor? Tell me who they are. The universe knows what I mean by that. I'm just going to pull a quick so. Whoa. Okay. I saw the bottom card. Three cards and a bottom card. Who the hell are they? Nine of Pentacles. They got some money. They got some independence. They got some money. They Or they got a mind of their own. Right? Or they got a falcon. One or the other. Either way, they got their shit together. Can I phrase it like that? The five of cups. Now that is crossed by the world okay there's someone who likes to help people it's the only way to read that energy okay there's someone who likes to be helpful to people there's someone who would if they saw someone sad on the side of the road even if they were a stranger sit down and ask what's wrong are you all right is there anything you need right like that so that's cool what else <laughs> they're a soulmate uh, that's it, kids. Two of Cups. They're a soulmate. That's it. I mean, I, they, this, these cards just backed up everything that's here. Yeah. Okay. So, this is a good person, right? Don't look at them poorly if they're married, right? And they, and they want to give to you. If, if, they, if they were happily married, they wouldn't. Because I'm telling you, and, and again, make your own fucking decisions. Uh, the energy reads... Like this person would drop whoever they're with, whatever this third energy is, uh, in, a, in, a, in a second to go your way. They, they absolutely would. The energy reads like that. There's a lot of destiny in play here. It's really cool. But there is some aspect of it. Again, I have to reiterate. It gets a little weird if you guys start banging for some reason. There's supposed to be something else to you. And some of you already know this person or they're around you. Anyway, you may not know them, but they're around you. And for others of you, this is future influence. I think for the majority of you, this is future influence, but it's very, very near future. 
okay? Could be a holiday party you meet this person. Could be somebody you hire. Could be, I, I have no idea, okay? I, I, I can't pinpoint it like that for a reading like this. But it's a pretty cool reading. And this is a pretty cool person. This is a good person. And they're a soulmate. All right. It'd be a good bang, to say the least. Although things get a little weird after it. All right. All right. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I did my best to sort through this energy. All right. It's tricky. But I know that crush. Ooh, I got a crush on you. Yeah, they do. And that, you know what? That crush word, right? When we say the word got a crush or phrase got a crush on you. That makes sense. That makes this Three of Cups make sense, which came out long after I told you about the song that I can't get rid of. I'm going to go fucking Google that song afterward. I find out who the fuck does it. Anyway, at the, at the end of the day, I know the band has a, it must have a nine in it somewhere. You know, I, I know I've heard the song at some point in time. But anyway, I'm not trying to be all Kreskin with you or anything. I'm just, I'm just remembering little bits. Um, three of, uh, the Three of Cups... Um, it makes the Three of Cups make sense because they're with someone else. And sometimes when we're with someone else and we're not happy, we get crushes all the time on, on other people and things along those lines. So it's a good way to keep that. It's something to keep in mind that it's the whole reading kind of cross-checks itself. It's tricky energy to read, but it's pretty clear someone's going to have a crush on you. That said, and they're a good person, though. This is good. Uh, very nice. That said... Uh, that's your reading. I appreciate it. you ever giving me a nickel for anything I do around here. I appreciate it. So here's your thank you reading. One of the most powerful readings I pull for you guys. Polling the universe and just having it blurt out whatever it wants. That's pretty massive. So uh, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.